This is Three Coups, a project lesson by Alan Ekman. Project lessons are for learning acid-free, fine art cast paper sculpture using the Ekman method. When you order your kit, this is what the Three Coups bus kit looks like. To order, go to our website, ekmanfineart.com, and look under Ekman Method or Project Lessons. Hi, I'm Alan Ekman, and this is Three Coups, the project lesson you're getting ready to start on. When you finish Three Coups, though, you should order this, the one-third life-size starter cast of a woman. Great companion piece to Three Coups, could be his wife, and you have plenty of paper, bonding agent, and bead cast to work on this. But right now, let's start on three coups. Okay, let's get started. Here's your cast, the bust cast, and here's your paper. You're going to notice that you have four half sheets of um, soft paper. And this soft paper is what you're going to sculpt with. They go from number two, three, four, and five sheets. And you'll basically tear those up and use them to sculpt the way you want. There's this uh, small sheet for feathers and a large hard sheet for hair and a full leather sheet your acid-free bag on that backboard keep it safe and this bonding agent has instructions to mix and the cast the starter cast bust of the man you'll have glass beads that long strip you, there are some claws and other beads in there some other glass beads round beads for the necklace all in that bag and now we're going to uh, start trimming out this um, starter cast. You're going to need a knife, a good sharp knife, and a pair of scissors to do that with. And you'll go all the way around both the uh, front and back sides of that cast. I work on a piece of uh, foam board with uh, gun silicone. It's black. It's just what I do. That way if a piece comes off I can see it somewhere in the paper. It doesn't hurt the paper. So trim out your cast all the way around. And I'll use some scissors. Finish off with the knife on the bottom part. Always be careful when you use a knife. It can come off of that paper so fast and cut yourself. Never cut toward you. Always cut away from yourself. Okay, there's the front of the cast. You can see it's going to be hollow. Now we'll start on the back. And uh, basically do the same thing. Trim it all out. And um, when you're all done, you're going to want to uh, take your scraps you can see it fits together pretty well and you're going to want to take your scraps and save them always save your scraps you can always pop them in a blender and use them for something else at a later time now I'll go around the rim of both the front and uh, back of your bus starter cast with some bonding agent fairly thin the way I've mixed that um, doesn't have to be that thin but it should be fairly thin now use some of these um, brass screws they're like deck screws you can find those in a hardware store Let me get it started with a little awl here and then screw it in I like that little hand screwdriver it's got a battery in it front and reverse buttons on there and uh, works pretty well driving in these screws. 
I picked a long enough screw to go all the way through from the forehead to the back of the head to register these casts together before we seam them. And I'll put another one here. Um, put one in the arm maybe. Now I'm going to tear some paper. This is probably a number three sheet that you want to tear, just some strips. And uh, I call these ready sheets, ready strips. And I kind of tear them up a little bit um, just to get them in a manageable size. Then I'll wet my starter cast with some bonding agent and just pick up those uh, strips with my brush put them in place you want to just seam all the way around fill the holes where there are holes use your burnisher to chase it in and, and smooth it fill it all the way around I like to mix that bonding agent so I have it thick and kind of medium and thin and and use it where it makes the most sense when I'm sculpting. Now I'm going to take it and finish it up here and then you're going to want to dry it. And all you have to do is put it under a household fan until it's dry.